Hey everyone, Enrique here with Enrique's Home Buyer Channel. Today we are going to talk about great buy downs. Learn about it. All right, welcome back. So, this is a topic that comes up quite a bit. People call all the time, and every time we have a conversation about rates or mortgages with people, you know, they repeat everything they hear out there in the market. And one of the things that I get questioned on is say, how does a rate buy down work? And should I do a buy down? And what is that? So people tell me, should I do a buy down? And can you explain it to me? So I'm going to do that in the next couple of minutes. A buy down is when a buyer obtains a more favorable rate, in other words, a lower rate in exchange for paying money up front to the bank to get that better rate. So for example, if the rate today is 6.7%, and the buyer pays a chunk of money up front, that 6.7 can get lowered, say, to 6.1, depending on the amount of money they pay and depending on what the rates are doing for that day. So that means you're buying it down. You're paying money to buy the rate down. Some of the things you gotta learn is that the buy down can be done by the buyer. It can also be paid by the seller or other parties. So even if the buyer doesn't have the money to buy down the rate, the seller can actually contribute. This is important in this type of market. For example, right now houses may not be moving as much because the market is a little softer and there is, you know, a little people that a lot of people that are a little scared about rates. Well, if the house has been sitting there empty and you make an offer on a house and you say to the seller, hey, would you be willing to help me buy down the rate, then you're going to be able to get a better rate because the seller will pay for it. There's another type of buy down that uh, is very popular right now, and we like it a lot. It's actually called a temporary buy down. A temporary buy down is where you purchase the rate down, you buy it down, but only for a certain period of time. It can be three years, two years, one year, or it can be a step down. Now, why is this advantageous? Well, there are some people who are purchasing a home and they just want a better payment for the next year or two. And a buy down will give them that reprieve for the first couple of years. In the meantime, you know, maybe they're going to refinance the home, maybe they're going to sell it, maybe they're going to get more income, etc. That's what a temporary buy down is. So for example, recently I talked to a couple where the husband is working and the wife had to take time off work because they're raising a kid. She's planning on going back next year to work. So they did a two year buy down. The seller pay for it, it's saving them almost $400 a month, but only for two years. They know that after two years, they're going to be okay because either they're going to refinance or she's going back to work. So they're going to have more income to be able to afford the payment. That is a temporary buy down. Now, what I'm sharing with you is very general. There's a lot of intricacies regarding this type of buy down. What's important is that you know that there are options. If you're worried about payments being too high, or the interest rate too high, and that's what's keeping you from buying a house, don't let that be the case. Figure out a way to get into the house and get a buy down. Even if it's temporary or permanent, maybe the seller can help you. And you're gonna be able to get a more affordable payment on a house that you may actually get a better deal. So important, talk to the right person. Usually realtors, they don't know a lot about buy downs. Uh, even if a realtor is trying to explain it to you, it's best for you to speak directly to a lender, preferably a broker, that can actually walk you through that process and tell you, how much you can save, how much is it going to cost to buy it down, and who can actually pay for that. Sometimes the buyer is going to be allowed, sometimes the seller, depending on the, on the program. So that's what's important. But there are options, and the options are there for you. I hope this information was useful to you. Remember, hit subscribe. Go check out our other videos. We have tons of videos with great information for people who want to purchase a home. I'm Enrique with Mortgage School. I'm here in Southern California helping people nationwide. Have a great day.